Good morning, good morning, crafty world. It is me, Natalia, and you are watching Lovecraft Forever channel. Welcome back, everybody. It's Cross Stitch Wednesday, the European town. And I just showing you this shot purposely because somebody asked me in Facebook group how to handle big canvas. It is not stick to the table because it's obviously a rolling and I suggested to roll but I say it's keep on rolling here is the magic trick you roll and websites have this big huge clips look at that perfect for this big canvases and this is how I stitch I'm stitching here my canvas roll here when I'm done stitching look at that flip and put away pick it up and put away this is so comfortable I love this one and your canvas stays straight you don't have a fold it's nicely rolled the only thing I took picture of the symbols to keep them on my tablet so I don't have to roll it all the time but you know what the picture sometimes doesn't show real colors and some colors are similar could be so I um, like for example some in here blue and more like a teal in here they look very similar in a picture so I still kind of unroll if I want to see the symbol because obviously you cannot see it but here is so far what I have uh, didn't stitch much after last time well I did a little bit but here is what I have and now I'm thinking I really wanted to go to this colors in here of flowers, but you know what? Uh, I might well pick this color, number 12, because it's so nice, bright, very well. You will see when I'm stitching. If you, well, you don't have to look, you better stitch with me. But for those who will look, uh, it will be bright color to see. Also, I want to point it out, I have question on my very, very beginner video for beginners, how to stitch on a printed canvas and uh, one of my new i'm not sure subscriber or just a visitor please subscribe if you're not yet ask me how come my cross stitch looks like it's a, a half stitch and she was confused why it's not cross stitch it is it's a full stitch it just sometimes in the pictures maybe or in the video looks like a half stitch this is 11 count ada so you obviously you can see very well that is cross stitch in some canvas, if it's 11, uh, I mean 14 counts, sometimes we don't see another stitch. It looks like half stitch, but trust me, that is a full stitch. So if you like to watch this video and see me stitching close to the canvas, please join. Welcome everybody. And I Oopsie, <laughs> my battery crashed because I already was recording one, one video today. And I thought I still have some, uh, you know, time to record a little bit more, but no, shut down my camera. So what I wanted to say, uh, please comment under this video. I know some of you um, tag me in Instagram and Facebook. I did not have chance to write down name. Who else join us for this um, cross stitch together? Because I know some of you just receive your... Um, cross stitch and I'm not sure if uh, I already have your name in my list or not so check under this video if you see your name is missing please comment and I will add you to this list of our friendly stitch together group and uh, let's get started let's push each other let's you know uh, encourage because it is <laughs> It's a many, many days and months of fun. I picked this yellow color also on a canvas because uh, it has number of the thread on it, which is number 12. And unfortunately, it's a boring brown color. But somebody have to do it, right? Now I'm stitching in here. This is the very, very edge of my canvas and this is a frame now be careful when you stitch like this because some of my fabric like it's overlapping in here 
and sticking out on the back of my canvas somewhere in here this line so I'm literally holding with my fingers under to push that little extra fabric oh Daisy two puppy snuggling next to me and she's uh, just signing in here for no reason um, yeah keep distracting me too those two fluffy balls uh, yeah so I'm just kinda keeping it the canvas away before I put my needle through because this is very dangerous to stitch your two pieces of fabric together and that would be so sad if you realize this later and you have to <laughs> tear apart your threads and ooh, try to fix it so at this point it's a little bit not comfortable to stitch because of that extra fabric hanging in there but you know what that's okay I just need a this little little corner just this this line kind of done and we'll be all fine oh see I almost went through the fabric on the back so yeah that's why you really have to pay attention what you're doing I might shaking you here a little bit because my tripod staying on top of the canvas because it's the way it's roll and it's so big I don't have a better way right now to set my camera position so this is what we're gonna have and it's a tricky in here even I did wax my threads but you can see it's a little bit tangling up Okay, maybe third time is a charm <laughs> because you know what? That wasn't my battery. My camera was overloaded with video and my card was full. That was keep shutting down my camera. So we will start for the third time and hopefully we can make this video going. What is going on today? <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day, no snow here, nice and sunny, warm, I can't believe this weather in Canada. When I talk to my family back home, oh, and I'm looking at a picture on the internet, they got slammed with snow, heavy, heavy snow up there, lots, and everybody think where are you living in Canada? Aren't you supposed to have like tons of snow in Canada? Not this year. Well, I'm lived pretty much in a good area. There's, it's very nice. Like doesn't have any major storms or floods. Close to the lake could be where this wind usually, the high waves would be flashing over the boards by the lake. But we live far away enough from the lake not to have any damage you know where we live so that's fine that's beautiful weather today oh yeah I'm happy I'm happy well I mentioned before for you that for some reason brown threads have a tendency to tangle up more often than the other threads. I don't know why and you can see that it, it is happening. Even I waxed a little bit to make this you know more even threads but it still keep crawling up on me so I have to kind of hold them maybe for now which is weird and I'm afraid not to poke Poppy in here because she's sleeping like right next to me. She have to be like very, very close. She's my companion. And it's not good idea when I stitch. So I will be helping here a little bit with my hand by pulling the threads. I just want to 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 finish this edge because it's really uh, very close to the end of the folded fabric up there and I don't want to stitch my fabric to the other piece 
There's four stitches in here and we should be safe to stitch nicely. Oh, I cannot wait to the moment when I'm gonna start to stitch the roof. When I see some of you already finished, it's such a beautiful blue colors on the roof up there. I cannot wait to the mo moment. Just still have to conquer this edge in here. I'm not sure. I, I'm really anxious to kind of start from another side. Maybe, um, maybe after this frame when I finish, I have this edge, whatever it's fit in this frame in here, maybe I will start from the other side of the canvas because usually I like to start my stitching from the right bottom corner. And that's kind of like I always like to start even diamond painting uh, except if something else is going on then I have to start from the other side but that's kind of like more comfortable for me so maybe I will start from another side but I just want to see this half of the house at least or maybe I will stitch one full house then go to the other side or just continue as it is not sure maybe I will put in a bigger frame next time when I will reposition my canvas to have bigger open square so I can see more of the house I don't know I might will add those two sides that I have this long two sides to get another two sides because I put two frames mix and match at this point uh, maybe I should keep a one big one that way would be like a big frame lots of room for me to do cross-country stitching okay I almost have the danger zone by stitching a canvas to the back I think it's finishing like right in here I can feel it so this one maybe and I will be more safe it will be more comfortable and faster to stitch because it's always very kind of tight when you are close to the edge okay maybe I will try to stitch right now with two hands let's see how it's go hopefully not to poke my puppy here I see this way more comfortable because I'm holding the thread from the top like this till it's running all the way to the canvas then let go so it's a less uh, possibility to tangle and same thing from under when I'm pulling this thread my other thread holding it in my hands in here to make sure no tight knot on the other side and I see already puppy fluff in here it's everywhere because the thread is touching my pants and I'm sure I have some fluff of puppy on it so when thread sliding up and down it's keep picking it, some fluff off me and bring it to the top of the canvas so every time I'm stitching I have to kind of look and I'm looking at right now through my magnifier just to make sure I don't stitch or later after when I'm done then I'm kind of looking it's good light and magnifier to pull out any fluff sometimes you think it's a fluff but it's actually like a thread fibers could be today this is my second video recording well, besides, I have to stitch one more clip to finish my first video a review. Very, very beautiful product. 
I posted some pictures on my Instagram if you're interested to see uh, maybe by the time I will post another one no I think it's gonna be my maybe Christmas decorating video just a friendly chit chat we did some decoration with Catherine I still have to put few more things to clean one more table in here and put away some stuff that not belong for Christmas okay from here to here it's kind of like maybe um, two centimeters is a less than two centimeters uh, passage in here so I will go all the way in here but then when I will stitch in here around later my thread that go from here to here will be over stitch with the other threads so it shouldn't be uh, having uh, like a hanging threads As you can tell if you're watching, sometimes I go in a line, the whole line, and then close my full stitch. Uh, sometimes, like right now, for example, I'm stitching one at a time. It doesn't matter how you stitch, just if you layer your axis in the same direction, that's the most important thing. I miss my stitches that I did a little bit on this remember big big canvas with the flowers and a peacock oh I took it was here staying next to me oh no no it's actually the other one is in my craft room uh, I did put away some cross stitch from here I took to my room because uh, I was decorating a little bit more last night for Christmas decoration around here and trying to clear a little bit space here around me so it's not so much craft in here when people come over visit us for the holidays so I took away two big frames and I will put some other stuff away later on close to Christmas when it's people start to come over visit but for now, it's kind of like I need to do. Oh, by the way, thank you for those who wanted to see beaded cross stitching. Because I was mentioning in some other video. Yes, yes, I will create the video for this week as well. Beaded cross stitch. Don't ask me twice. Don't twist my arms. I'm gladly will do that. <laughs> because I really like to stitch with beads. One of my favorite things to stitch is beads. So we will be working. I should give a name to my cow beaded stitch canvas. It's uh, yeah, it's here next to me actually. You know that she's laughing cow. Well, maybe we should call my cow laughing cow. So that would be copyrighted the name. We're not gonna talk about cheese. We're just gonna think about happy cow. Also, somebody raise your hands who you are. Uh, some of the lady, my goodness, sorry, I don't remember name. It was on Facebook group, on my Facebook, Facebook group, Lovecraft Forever. Please join us up there. Uh, somebody stitching this exactly same image in 11 count Ada with two threads. And it looks good. And I did left my comment that many ladies stitching with two threads some think that three threads for a little count it's too pushy maybe too thick for me personally i like to stitch with three threads 
uh, for two these two threads for me would be maybe too see-through but if you like the way it's look don't you know mind whatever else who will say oh maybe it's not proper way you should do this you should do this no you should do whatever is more comfortable for you uh, of course you will have lots of threads leftovers because you are using it every time one less of the thread so that's a good thing as well you will have lots of leftovers well I hope they put enough threads in here to finish this canvas because obviously you can't complain too fast enough because how do you know if you have enough threads or not now I will finish in here so if you didn't know how I f you didn't see me before how I finish you can see this without flipping a thread on another side we will stitch from the top so we, I come out sometimes when I stitch by myself I just go on the other side and most of the time just wiggle through this um, wave and cut today because we are on the camera I will finish like I teach you one time so I come out from the corner then I go like on like under my first top stitch in the center it's a little bit hard when you don't have a sharp needle and you know what with my wrist right now I'm not gonna be able to do it oh yeah I did it uh, just on the center of that stitch run through and you can finish here now or extra secure I would go to my next stitch and do one more time under one more under and then I come out from the corner up and now we will snap our thread just to pull a little bit up and snip and that thread will go right under you're not going to see it. and that's how I finished time from time this is very easy to do when canvas not printed and it's easy to go through the canvas and uh, now we will move let's see where we should start maybe okay how can I secure my camera here I will have to probably go on the top of the canvas right now I'm not sure okay let me lift it let me lift it my oh that's not gonna be straight hold on we'll fix it maybe I will start from here and the other pieces I'm just going to lift my tripod leg a little bit to even up. I love this little cheap tripod that I have. I ordered this one from AliExpress a long time ago. And it's working fine for me. Okay, one more thing to move on the edge of the table because we're going a little bit lower and I will start in here as I start sometimes when also I don't want to flip my canvas to the other side so I would wave one and two actually start from one more over one two maybe you're a beginner that would be good for you to see Nobody says it's comfortable to stitch with the nails. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I'm waving up front, pulling my thread where I should stop, right in here. Then I will go under. In a, right in the center I will go ow just poke my finger to blood mm, okay that wasn't good 
Okay, it's this video will be made of thousand pieces because my camera just shut down again. I guess I did not unload it as many as I should. It turned off on me again. Okay, so now I forgot to show you. Did you see what I did? I went through inside and then I come out from corner next one. So I can make re my regular half stitch and continue my regular stitching as I would do. So right now I will do my half stitch this way so I can come back and close stitches it will be closed for here to continue. So sometimes as I say I close right away sometimes I close full stitch later so it's more comfortable to get to the place where I need to be. And this way that we created up front, we're not going to see it. It will be over stitch. Uh, with two threads, I don't know if you would be over stitch like this or not and make it not visible. And here you go, days ago now. Um, some days I just cannot have a piece. So when I was uploading more videos from this uh, SD card to my computer, I had time to decorate one more little table, clean up, vacuum house, <laughs> see? So I uh, include some cleaning into this video so it's quick. Well, something loading, something unloading, something cleaning. No time to stop. No time. And you know what? My husband just yesterday realized how many days left till Christmas. He's like, do you know this? Well, I say, obviously, I followed the date. Yes, but you know what? Because there's no snow outside, it feels like it's far away yet, nowhere to rush. But reality, reality is, we need to speed up, finish shopping, finish decorating, prepare for the holidays, go shopping for some food to put away. School have some food drive for less fortune, so Catherine will take some boxes of food to school. If you have a food dry, dry in your area, never hesitate to help somebody else. Even if it's just a one food, one bag of macaroni or bag of sugar, whatever, everything help this time of the year because. Lots of homeless and less fortunate people will be stuck with no money and with no food. So if anybody can donate anything, that's always a good thing to do. We usually, um, just recently we also uh, donated some money to Salvation Army. We always donate to this company. Well, it's not really company, but we always donate the Salvation Army. As long as I remember myself here, my husband's mom always donate, would, uh, give them always money, and after she passed, we continue this tradition because it's always good to help others. So I a little bit slow down on a video kind of recording because usually by now I would have like, you know, four or five videos already uploaded to my channel, waiting, you know, schedule, but not this time. The Christmas time slowed me down because I have to 
lots of things to do around the house, uh, kind of decorating a little bit or shopping. And it's just, uh, you know, sometimes you have to do some stuff with family. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have too many videos uploaded, but I have many videos pre-recorded that's kind of not ready to post because many videos but doesn't have an end yet and it's a different category videos or diamond painting or cross stitching and then the other stuff so i just have to put kind of pieces together and then i will have much more videos on my channel so i will continue we will create this uh, short stitching well i don't think it's going to be very short but just continue now i will be finishing all this yellow colors with brown threads whatever i see that way i will be done with one more color in this frame of me stitching because there's lots in here yellow see like all the way in the bottom and that is a uh, windows i believe of the house kind of so that's what I will continue. So keep doing a good job. You're doing great. Uh, congratulations for those who just started. And Biggest Craft uh, have them in stock. Check them out if somebody else wants to order this canvas. They do upload. And if they have un like not out of the stock, just email to them and they will be bring it back. Uh, maybe a little bit longer wait I'm not sure but they promise me they will be as you need it they will bring it back to the store so be kind of they need a pre-order to give it to you so keep doing a good job and I will see you next time which is tomorrow of course have a good day everyone